Hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel I hope you guys are doing well so today I am going to show you how you can use the simple deform modifier and how you can create the tire with the help of that modifier so without any further delay let's get started so here you can see here I have already created one tire pattern so I think these lines are disturbing to us so I'm just going here and create that grid floor and xyz line side yeah now it's perfect now we can see easily so what I will do first I will just uh, select that object and I'll create one modifier it's called array and I'll set the value I think 0 0.53 it's perfect yeah it's perfect and I've set the count 80 yeah so now guys you can see here is a one seam is visible and uh, it's not looking good it's uh, creating some problem and disturbing our view so how we can rid of that problem here is a one option is called merge we just merge it and we can rid of that problem okay let's move it out and after that I will add one more modifier it's called simple deform modifier and I will change this to blend okay and here is a axis origin I'll change that axis X it's not working I think maybe Z it's not working to Z also okay so we don't need that kind of tire means we need uh, another save so how we can get this so we need an extra object to control that uh, origin axis so I will add one uh, empty arrow empty like that and I will select again that tire and uh, I will select that empty here and now I'm going to the left view and I will rotate that empty in a 90 degree like that oh I think it's not 90 degree perfect yeah now it's perfect looking tire here you can see but we have one also problem uh, these edges are not merge each other so what I will do I will set this I think 362 oh I think 0.977 it's perfect no yeah it's perfect but here is also one seam and uh, so what we will do we will add one modifier it's called a weld modifier and right now that weld modifier uh, merge the all vertices which is distance according to that so I will increase that distance yes so right now that seam is invisible and our tire is looking cool perfect yeah guys so we can use that modifier like that and now i will uh, make one uh, rim also on uh, for that tire so i'm just going to hide everything for a while and i'm just enable that rim so I have already created that rim so I think I should change that texture first so yeah this is looking cool so what I will do I will add the array modifier on it also so I will go to the here and add the array modifier and I will select the 5 and I will change the relative offset and right now I will also add the one empty and uh, I will select again that rim and select the object offset and here is the empty 001 yeah so now I'm going to rotate that empty 90 degree I think uh, it need a 6 so what I will do I will increase that count 
first and uh, now i'm going to rotate that empty yeah 90 degree like that yes 60 degree like that yeah it's perfect right now it's looking perfect and uh, here you can see uh, it is look here is showing some some double meshes so i will go here and add the merge so right now it's looking very odd because that merge distance is too high so i'm decreasing that i think i should also decrease one more yeah it's looking perfect now it's looking create a perfect rim and now i'm unhiding the rest of the things like that and uh, i'm going to the apply that array on it and delete that empty and i will select that and i will scale it out and yeah we need to move a little bit and outside also so yeah guys it's looking a perfect tire here you can see it's a perfect tire so thanks for watching this tutorial guys and uh, you can also download that project file uh, i will put the link in the description you can download there from free and thanks for watching this tutorial guys and i hope you learned something in this video if you learned something in this video please hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one so stay home bye bye take care